A world wild and fragile, vibrant and untamed. Grand Pulse. It's a place where lives are ruled by the brutal struggle for survival and the callous and uncaring whim of the Farsim. There is no such thing as mercy. Only a never-ending string of trials that weed out the weak and leave only the strong. Reigns knew the truth. The purpose lying at the heart of all the Falsi's actions. Recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. People were never anything more than sacrifices. And Cocoon's destruction? It's just a way to wake a sleeping god. But would bringing the Maker back into this world really lead to our salvation? The Maker created Falsi, and they, in their desperation to be reunited with the Maker, created Lassi. And Lassi? I wonder what we'll end up creating. looked bleak, but as long as we could keep our spirits up, we'd find a way to change our fate. Somehow. You were having a dream. <laughs> a pretty strange dream. Hey guys, have any luck? No sign of anyone else. But we did find plenty of bloodthirsty wildlife and crumbling ruins. Long day? Well guys, we've run out of places to search around here. Huh. Where's Hope? He's off with the chocobo, getting supplies. Hello. <laughs> you all by yourself? <laughs> We gotta find him! Right. Hope!
So this is how it ends. But just wait. Now, how long has it been since we left Cocoon? Hmm? Not a single soul for miles around. Not a single clue about this whole sea mess. <laughs> what I'm saying is, we did well just getting this far. <sighs> But we could go a little further. Hmm? Meaning? There's still one place. Anil? Oh. Are you sure? I'm sure. You know, if we don't find anything this time, we won't get another chance. Huh? Erba. Uh -huh. The place it all began. Uh -huh. Hope. The place where the pulse of Alcee lay dreaming. Vanille and Fang's home. Just maybe, it'll be the place where we find the answers we're looking for. You're right. If we can get there. <laughs> Go ahead without me. We can't just leave you. I'll be fine. You've all taught me so much. You showed me how to fight. What did I tell you? Leave the fighting to me. I'm scared. We understand. You're not gonna go through this ordeal alone, you know. Huh? That's what scares me. I don't... I don't want to see you get hurt because of me. It'd be better for everyone if I just stayed behind. <laughs> <laughs> Mention ordeals, and look what comes along. This is not an ordeal. This is a gift. Hope! What? This is the kind of power you've got inside. And it's telling you not to give up. Trust me. Huh? Oh, I get it. It's here to show you the way. Show you that you've got what it takes to get back on your feet and do this thing. You mean... that came from me? Some beast you tamed, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I always thought the Eidolans appeared to set us free through death. But now, I think maybe they're here to snap us out of our slumps. Oh, like the one you were just in? <laughs> I'll ask for help earlier next time around. Uh, oh. I told you, on Grand Pulse, we're all family. You can moan all you like, but you're stuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> you're never alone in hell. <laughs> Listen, funny man, don't call this place hell, all right? So, we're all decided then. Maybe nothing would change, and maybe we'd hit a dead end, but we were at least going to see where the road would take us. The search for a home buried in the past, and the faintest glimmer of hope. Our final journey had just begun. Let's go. This stone, it's... Look familiar? It's a kind of seeth, 
It's in the last stage. The Seath. Don't worry. It's no threat to anyone anymore. The sea that fail their focus become Seath and wander the wilds. Eventually, they lose the will to go on and turn to stone. But still, even in this state, they can't forget the task they once had. And they call out to the sea, over and over, complete my focus. So they're doomed to eternal regret, huh? It's pretty horrible. Well, hey, we should help this one out. I mean, come on, we, we can't just ignore it. Listen, if we fail our focus, it could be us suffering like that. Wow, what a happy thought. That's not like you. But going out of his way to help someone, that's snow all over. There's a way through here! A Grand Pulse Falci made this path. Yep. I bet it's off digging more tunnels right now. They seem different from all the Falci we've seen on Cocoon, you know? It's like they just plow through, without caring what happens around them. That's true. Then again... We were able to build our village on land cleared by Falci. We lived alongside them, just like you do on Cocoon. Oh yeah, this is just like Cocoon. In a world this big, who knows what we'll find. Heads up! Whoa! Look at that thing! Let me guess. That's a falsy? Yep. Busy carving out new tunnels. Making roads where roads ain't meant to go, huh? It kind of sounds like us. All right, Rolly Poly. Let's hit your ride on that thing. Now you're thinking Grand Pole style. Sure I do. They grew all over Eba. Uh, we can't be far now. <laughs> it's my fault Grand Pulse ended up like this, isn't it? What? I remember everything. I became Ragnarok. I scarred Cocoon. And I left Grand Pulse in this mess. It was me. What are you talking about? It all came back to me. Everything that happened with our focus. All of it. You're lying! No, it's the truth. It's all my fault. Don't say that! Vanille! The Eidolon knows the truth. Ha! I knew I was right. Wait! So you were lying? No more than you were. Admit it. You remember everything. It wasn't. It wasn't your fault. Vanille, we should talk about this later. I knew something was off. You've been shying away from our focus ever since we woke up on Cocoon. I... I couldn't figure it out, but then it all made sense after hearing that story from Reigns. You already knew. You knew Ragnarok was the name of destruction. It wasn't fair. You had to do all the horrible stuff. And I didn't have to do anything. That is no reason to lie to me. You think that's what I want? Uh, you of all people! <gasps> Poor kid. You've had it rough. 
Fang. <sighs> Listen, you're not alone anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keep that up and you'll have me crying soon. <laughs> we have a new family now. We stick together, you hear me? <laughs> no way through. Man, that foul sea must have been slacking. The vile peaks all over again. Hey! Hope! Get out of there! Is she trying to stop it? You can do it! What are they doing? That was cool. Go robot guys. Good lesson for us. Not even a mighty foul sea is a match for the power of teamwork. <laughs> that is inspiration right there. Save the sermons, old man. Let's hop on Trailblazer here while we still have the chance. What you doing? I was, uh, was talking to Sarah. Just telling her that we're all gonna be okay. crying, hadn't you? Back when we first met? This place was beautiful, and my focus was to destroy it. I decided to do nothing, and wait to become a sea. But because I did nothing, others got dragged into this nightmare, and I was the one to blame. How's the scrape? Huh? Fine. Much better, thanks to you. Ugh. Oh, sure you don't mind? I mean, I'm not keeping you from anything, am I? Not at all. Don't worry. I could sit here for hours. Hey, Sarah. Do you think we'll meet again? We might. Sure. Uh, uh. See, the thing is, I was chasing after someone. And there's something I really need to apologize for. But I just... I just can't ever find the words. Gee, that's gotta be tough, huh? Yes. I even have nightmares about it. Well, if it's too much to deal with, face it later. Really? <laughs> Sometimes things seem easier when you look at them from a distance, you know? But does that really work? Question. I'll let you know. 
Actually, I've been trying to keep something at a distance myself lately. Like what? Don't laugh, okay? It's a dream I had. A bad one. I dreamt I destroyed the world. It was terrifying. I needed some time alone. It had me so scared, I tried to run away. But then, my boyfriend, he came chasing after me. That's when I understood. Running away and leaving behind the people you care about? That isn't love. Though you might just want to keep them safe, shutting them out of your life only hurts them more. The point is, I have people I can count on. I'll make it through. I think you'll be fine. And you will be too. You'll find the words. I'm sure of it. I'm sorry. What else can I say? I'm not the one you should be asking, Vanille. You'll know what to say when you find your friend. You'll see. You mean you met Sarah? Mm hmm I tried to hide our focus. And she ended up on the sea. I wanted to say I was sorry, but... Well, when we rescue her, maybe you'll get the chance. Yeah, I hope so. Come on. I think Sarah saw the same vision of Ragnarok that we did. Which means Dysley had to be lying when he explained her focus. I think she beat it. She handed Cocoon over to us, and that's what made her turn to crystal. Yep. I know. Hey, Sarah. What dreams are you having up there? We walked pretty far today. Let's rest up and start out fresh tomorrow. Sarah. Same as we left her. Feels so far away now. <laughs> Sarah says she wants to talk. She'd probably prefer if you skip the lectures. Hey! Once we're home, what's your plan? You're getting married, right? What's that? Sarah wants to know. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You are getting married, aren't you? Don't you let her down, you hear me? <laughs> Don't worry. This tear will be her last. I'll make sure of that. That's all I need to know. We will see her, right? Don't go there. No room for doubt. You're right. We'll see her again. And soon. You convinced me of that. So stay strong. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll finish this and go see her together.
we get through there, and we'll be in Ava. You're almost home. Yep. It doesn't exactly look like it's gonna be a leisurely stroll. Oh, so we just head through this foul sea's lair to get to Erebo, right? What's another foul sea at this point, huh?